If Freddy Roach were a mad scientist, then Manny Pacquiao would easily be his most dastardly creation. In 2001, Roach began the process of turning a one-trick southpaw pony into a skilled technician, and yet he still hasn't let Pacquiao forget how to brawl when the time is right. In Pacquiao, Roach has molded the perfect boxer puncher. Neither pressure fighter nor counter fighter, Pacquiao can do it all, so long as it involves lots and lots of punches. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the more unique aspects of Pacquiao's aggressive style. This is Frame by Frame Fights, the mad science of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is a deceptive fighter. His approach is often hyper-aggressive, and yet his attack is always a calculated one. Even his notoriously wild combinations are well put together and tactically constructed. Not only does Manny have one of the best coaching teams in the world in his corner, but he knows how to use his own eyes as well. He is always watching and testing his opponents, constantly looking for weaknesses. Nowhere is this mentality more apparent than in Pacquiao's jab, a tool which often goes neglected in southpaw versus orthodox fights, but which Manny nonetheless uses frequently and to great effect. Pacquiao regularly uses his jab not as an offensive weapon, but as bait to draw the opponent into predictable and ultimately ill-advised counterattacks. In Tim Bradley's case, he couldn't resist trying to throw a long left hook over the top of Pacquiao's jab. The moment that Pacquiao recognized this pattern, his goals became to draw the counter, defend the counter, and counter the counter. Watch here as he does all three successfully. And again in slow motion. Pacquiao sticks his jab in Bradley's face, baiting the counter. When the expected hook comes, Pacquiao rolls beneath it, slipping to his left, dipping, and then coming back up on the right bringing his left hand with him. Now let's see everything back in smooth sequence. And here's a much better angle of that left hand in superb slow motion. Bradley's other go-to response to the jab was to shoulder roll it or pivot away to his left. This was Pacquiao's counter to that. Now in slow motion, watch Pacquiao's feet carefully. As Pacquiao throws his first jab, his right foot is just outside of Bradley's left. As Bradley pivots away from Pacquiao's second jab, Pacquiao almost loses his outside angle. But Pacquiao uses small steps to keep Bradley in his sights, and with the final adjustment of his right foot, he plants a laser-guided left on Bradley's chin. Here's the whole thing again. Pacquiao is always thinking two or three blows ahead. Sometimes that means throwing away punches. In other words, Pacquiao will often throw one or two committed punches with no hope of landing just to create the opening for one that will. Here, you can see him using a jab to bring Bradley's guard up high. This one-two keeps Bradley's hands occupied and puts Pacquiao in perfect position for a hard shot to the spleen. Here it is again. Now, here's a different example of Pacquiao utilizing throwaway punches. Pacquiao patiently slides back away from Bradley's jab, waiting for him to commit to something big. Pac fires back with a jab and a lunging left of the body that doesn't land clean, but forces a huge overreaction out of Bradley, who drops his hands and leaves the window open for Manny's right hook. Let's see the whole thing one more time. Manny Pacquiao is a one-of-a-kind boxer whose reckless-looking punches are thrown with unparalleled poise. 
Thanks to Manny and Freddie Roach, we can all bear witness to one of the most entertaining styles in the sport. It's aggressive, it's smart, it's mad science. Before you go, don't forget to like the video. For more content like this, subscribe to MMANation.com on YouTube and go to BloodyElbow.com. Or, if you want to hear more from me in particular, go to HeavyHandsPodcast.com. Thanks for watching.